If you have trigger finger, when should you be concerned that this might be part of a bigger problem? Hello, this is Dr. Siddharth Damber, expert in rheumatology and in regenerative medicine. If you have trigger finger, in this video, I'll discuss when you should be concerned that you may have a bigger or systemic condition. What is trigger finger? The tendons in their finger that allow you to flex your finger, on occasion, those tendons can get irritated, stenotic, inflamed, and the ligaments that help to support those tendons can also get irritated, and the friction between those two tissue can then cause some catching of the finger. That can lead to your finger getting stuck in a flex position, which can be painful, and then when it pops open, that too can be painful as well. In most cases, trigger finger is a localized issue due to either overuse of the hands and the tendons or an injury to the tendon or the ligament as well. In most cases, treating this in a focused and localized way alone is adequate. That can be either with hand therapy, occupational therapy, a local steroid injection, or in the most severe cases, actually getting surgical release as well. However, there are some conditions, systemic conditions, bigger conditions, that can be connected with trigger finger as well. Let's talk about what some of those conditions are and when you should be considering that. So inflammation is a potential cause for causing trigger finger, in particular, inflammatory arthritis. Inflammatory arthritis means that you have inflammation in the joints, the tendons, the ligaments that can cause swelling, pain, and restriction of range of motion. Specifically, if there's swelling in the tendon in the finger, you can get trigger finger. For example, there are conditions such as rheumatoid arthritis and psoriatic arthritis where inflammation in the joints occurs and inflammation in the tendons can occur as well. In rheumatoid arthritis, a very early presentation of RA can be if you have multiple fingers that are developing trigger finger. In psoriatic arthritis, that is a condition where you may have skin rashes from psoriasis where your immune system is attacking the skin and causing inflammation. In 20% of those people, they can then get that same sort of inflammation in the joints, the tendons, and the ligaments. When there's that kind of inflammation in the tendons, that can cause restriction of range of motion and thus trigger finger. There are various other autoimmune and inflammatory arthritis conditions that can also do that. That can include conditions such as ankylosing spondylitis and rarely even conditions such as gout and various other inflammatory arthritis and autoimmune conditions can cause trigger finger as well. So when should you be concerned that you may have an inflammatory or autoimmune condition that is causing your trigger finger. Well, you need to look out for certain red flags. For example, if you have swelling in multiple joints, tenderness, warmth, that could be a sign of inflammatory arthritis. If you suddenly have developed multiple fingers that are getting trigger finger, again, that could be a sign that you're developing an inflammatory arthritis as well. And of course, if you have other areas that may be showing inflammation as well, such as inflammation in the skin or inflammation in the eye or other organs that may all be relevant and may be triggers for you to consider whether your trigger finger may be actually the sign or symptom of something bigger that's going on. There's also other conditions such as diabetes that can also cause trigger finger. Diabetes is a condition where your body is poorly controlling your blood sugar that leads to poor metabolic health. In some cases, that can cause some mild inflammation in the joints. In other cases, that can actually cause some fibrosis and even a little bit of thickening of some of the organs, such as the skin, the tendons, the ligaments, that in turn can lead to reduced range of motion. And if that's occurring in the finger flexor tendons, that can then also lead to trigger finger. The keys from the rheumatology side are to make an early diagnosis. There's this concept in rheumatology called the window of opportunity. What that means is that if you have a developing new autoimmune condition, if you can catch it at an early stage, 
you can completely prevent the progression of that condition. Now, even if you catch that condition at a later stage, you can certainly still improve inflammation, pain, limited function, and improve your overall quality of life. But if you can catch it at an earlier stage, you can prevent any damage from occurring. So an early diagnosis is very key to helping to make that diagnosis. So what are some of the triggers that should make you consider seeking a specialist evaluation if you have trigger finger? And in particular, if you're worried that you may have a bigger problem. So as I mentioned, some of the red flags for inflammatory arthritis would include painful swollen joints. If this development of trigger finger is happening in multiple fingers and fairly recent onset and quite quickly, or if you have any other signs of inflammation, either in blood work or in your body that you're concerned about that could be connected with trigger finger as well. When it comes to that evaluation, a rheumatologist is a good person to see if you're worried about inflammation, in particular in the joints, in particular for trigger finger as well. They'll do an appropriate evaluation to see if you are developing a systemic or autoimmune condition. I would recommend that when you get that evaluation that they also do a diagnostic musculoskeletal ultrasound. I'm a big fan of musculoskeletal ultrasound because you can tell if there are signs of inflammation at a very early stage and at a very critical stage where you can make a key improvement in your condition. When it comes to treatment, I would recommend that if you have a bigger problem, a systemic problem, you focus on treating that. The trigger finger may be a symptom of that bigger problem. So you don't want to focus only on treating the trigger finger in that case. In most cases of trigger finger, if you treat the bigger problem, let's say if there's chronic inflammation, you can actually dramatically improve the trigger finger as well as the overall inflammation gets better. In some cases, you may need to treat that locally. That could include either hand therapy or a steroid injection. If your bigger problem is not being treated, however, and you have a lot of inflammation, I would recommend trying to avoid surgery until the overall inflammation is under control, in part because it's possible that the trigger finger may resolve on its own with treatment of the overall inflammation, and also because you may not actually get as good of a result surgically if you're still inflamed or there's some other bigger issue that's ongoing. Trigger finger, while it's generally a local phenomenon, in some cases it could be a sign of a bigger problem such as an inflammatory arthritis condition or sometimes even diabetes. If you have some of the red flags that indicate that you should get evaluated, I would recommend doing that. Get yourself better and hopefully you can resolve your trigger finger issue as well. Thank you for your time. I hope you found this helpful. If you found this content useful, please give us a like and subscribe to the channel. Until we connect again, have a good day and live well. Bye-bye.